What to? The T.O. or T.V.O. Whatever T. It's in the refrigerator. Tazo? Yeah. That's how I know that shit not good. Cause... Yep. Never again. My boy, I am. Oh, shit. I forgot. What's going on, y'all? Rising goddess, good to see you in here, as always. Roseberry, you have a warrant? I don't think that'll last long. This system is collapsing. This system is collapsing. This shit's done. Peace, peace in, peace in. Um, it just kicked me off my other TikTok. I don't know if y'all seen that. They kicked me off my other TikTok, so... Yeah. I got a lawyer, so you're very accurate. Yeah, this system is going down. This shit's done. Like, this shit's literally done. This 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 shit show is over. And that's why they're telling you criminals, criminals can create, uh, can commit a, uh, can can commit crimes, right? It's not even that. You don't even have to be a, a criminal to commit a crime. You have regular people going out there and uh, uh, committing heinous crimes, right? And a lot of them are getting away with it. But this system is going down. This shit is literally shutting down, right? What are they going to do when... What's going to happen when EMP, when the when the electromagnetic frequency, when the when the sun lets out the, the, the CMEs that basically destroys this electrical grid? How are you going to keep people in prison? This is going to get a lot. For some, it's going to get scary. For some, it's going to get scary. And this is literally going to wake people up to tap in into their higher self. Tap in to walk in alignment with the frequency of the earth. Because those who walk with the frequency of the earth, who understand, who knows who they are, they won't be harmed by this. They won't be touched by what's going, what, what's going to happen. This is a test. This is a test of your spirituality. This is a test of your mentality. This is your test of knowing that your connection to the universe, connection to the soul. This is literally a test of what's going to ha of what of what you want to happen. Remember, you're the one that creates your reality. So this is a test. Either you want bad things to happen to you, or you can ascend from that. You remove yourself from that negative negative thinking and ascend past that. Move past that, okay? Even when you're when you're presented an altercation with an individual, right? When someone wants to start something with you, you can you can you can either enter that altercation with that individual, or you can just step away, move away, sidestep, left, right, wherever it is, okay? You don't have to dance. You don't have to dance with an individual. Kind of like when a girl, when you go ask a girl to dance, she doesn't have to dance with you or vice versa. She comes and asks you to dance. You don't have to dance with that individual. But it's going to get crazy. It's going to get hectic. But again, this is your mental reality. They didn't see, they didn't want to tell you that you were the one who creates, that you are the one. Not worried. They didn't want to tell you that you are the one that creates your reality. Because once you know that, this whole, this whole thing would have changed. This whole realm would have changed. You would have woke, you would have realized that a long time ago. Why do you think this world is changing as fast as possible? Because people don't want to be on this vibration no more. People don't want to be on this frequency no more. They're realizing what's going on. People are realizing the power has always been in their hands. So they are changing this. They don't want to be here no more. They want to get the fuck out of here. People have learned the lessons that they wanted to learn or they needed to learn. And they're like, okay, time for me to move on to something else. Okay, where you're going to have your abilities, where you're going to be able to um, travel, travel in in space using portals, using technology, using your body, using your mentality, your mental, because everything is mental. You only project yourself in this physical reality in order to feel what it feels like to be physical, in order to gain that and garner that experience, because not everybody can do this. Your abilities are taken away. Your memories are taken away. 
your connection to the universe, to the God mind, to the God consciousness, universal consciousness taken away. Ain't no weak minded people here. Ain't no weak minded individuals here. So this is a test. Your mental fortitude, your spiritual fortitude. This is an enlightenment that's going on here. This is an enlightenment. All this in the, all this stuff that's going on here, you knew this was going to happen. You just forgot about it. They made you forget. Put football in front of your face, baseball, basketball, soccer, TV, girls, boy. The only thing that you're supposed to, the only thing that you were really supposed to do was remember who you are. Everything else would have came after. You were supposed to remember who you are. And a lot of us right now are remembering who we are. The energy is collapsing. You're becoming one again. Your people are guarding their inner, their memories. You're remembering what was going on. Your dreams are vivid. They're out of this world, literally. Also, you can remember and become, return back to greatness. Also, you can remember and return back to greatness. Don't forget who you are. That's why I tell y'all, remember who you are. I told y'all, remember who you are. And it's coming to that time. And it's coming to that time. You see TikTok is hating on me. <laughs> I, I just got to laugh because, because they are so against the truth. They are so against the truth. They know this. They, they t Even in their name, TikTok, their time is up. Their time is up. This whole reality is up. It's over now. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself for the greater things that's to come. Okay? Prepare yourself for the greater things that's to come. You came here to basically get a grasp of your mental capacity, your ability to create things, okay? Your ability to create things for yourself and with others. You are literally becoming one again with your brothers and sisters, okay? You had to separate yourself in order to re to, 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 um, to understand and experiment with duality. But there's a time, right? Either you're becoming agreeable or you're disagreeable. You wanted to come here and experience both... both uh, uh, both experiences, okay? This is the only level that you could come here and experience both levels at the same time. Now, either you choose a side. That's why a lot of people are saying, choose a side, choose a side. Either you're becoming agreeable or you're disagreeable. Either you're ascending or you're not ascending, okay? So this is your time now in order to rise above all this lunacy that's going on right now. Uh, pun intended because the moon is going away. We are entering the sun cycle and the sun cycle is going to shine. It's going to shine. It's going to burn bright all these parasites and these viruses from our planet in order for the planet to come back into homeostasis. And that has to do with you as well. That has to do with you as well. We are all connected to the planet in a major way. In a major way. More than you think. More than you know. More than you realize, more than you will ever realize in this moment right now. Your mind cannot comprehend or fathom this instance as of yet. In order to go, in order to get a br a, a brief, uh, I can I say this? In order to, in order to get a brief experience or moment of this, you would have to really, you would have to be prevalent at astral projection, right? Or lucid dreaming, or lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming will give you just a little bit of hint of this because that grand consciousness, that super consciousness that is ran by the whole galaxy, by the whole universe, by the most is what you are connected to is what you are connected to. So, you know, everything, but you wanted to come to experience the separation. Now we were physical. Now the ones who are ready are becoming metaphysical beyond physical. Anti-gravity, whatever you want to call it. But what's it called? It's 1.30 over here, y'all. I was on I was on my TikTok talk. I was on my other TikTok talking shit until TikTok shut me down. And I had to come on here and finish off. Because that's what I like to do. I like to come on here and just, you know, 
and wham, bam. Um, what's it called? Lacey J. How many times should we meditate? It's up to you. It's 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 literally up to you. I'm not telling you. I'm not going to tell you a specific amount of time to meditate because I have no idea what your life is like. But I'm gonna tell you this: with the frequency rising, meditation should be an everyday thing for you, for every single one of us. Because meditation is literally syncing both of our brain hemispheres together. Now, remember, we're mostly left brain, okay? We're mostly left brain. We're like robots. We're slaves. That's the, that's the left brain. Robots, slaves, logical thinkers, you know what I'm saying? Keep you in line, okay? You don't want a lot of people don't want to talk out about pub uh talk out talk talk out against their oppressors. They just want to do their job, come home, watch a little TV, get up, get right back to it again. Now we are um our our right brain is coming to um into uh play now, right? Because that's the same thing that's happening. Um, as above, so below, right? As above, so below. The earth is flipping poles, okay? It's flipping poles, okay? We're going to the, uh, to the, ma- we're coming from the masculine aspect, the patriarchy, and going back to the matriarchy, uh, 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 and going back to the patriarchy. I mean, I-, I apologize, going back to the matriarchy. So now you're becoming right brained. This has to do with spirituality, open mindedness, imagination, your abilities, right? This runs with your gray matter that activates your dormant abilities. That's part of your DNA. Remember, a, a, a high 98%, 92 to 98% predicated upon you, who you are, had um, your uh, your abilities dormant, okay? Your abilities were dormant due to these beings who basically came here and capped our chromosome, okay? So a lot of the people here do not have the abilities, and now it's becoming more prevalent. Your people are waking up. People are becoming uh, 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 your uh, your third eyes open, so people are having visions. People are having clear audience, clear sentience, clear. All these things are being activated within you, and it's going to happen more and more in due time. And even you can activate it slowly and slowly just by focusing on a thing. It's just like it's no different as to you going to the gym and working out and that muscle is getting bigger. It's no different as to you riding a bike every single day and you getting better to the point that you're doing no hands or you're standing up on the bike. Uh, You know what I'm saying? You're pressing all these type of things. You're supposed to be working on your phys- on your metaphysical abilities, your spiritual abilities, because you got to understand you are a spiritual being first. You're not a physical being. You are a spiritual being first. They have you tied to this physical reality, making making you believe which the word lie is in it too, making you believe that you are a physical being and taking away the knowledge of self, which is the most important thing. If you don't know yourself, you don't know who you are. You have no idea you're in this world being oppressed by people who don't even know you, people by invaders, right? By invaders who invaded our planet and basically has taken over and put us under this sleep spell. So now it is time for you to wake up and remember who the fuck you are. This is the time now. And it's going to increase. People, I've been, I show videos of people going crazy. I show y'all people are going crazy and it's going to increase even more just to let you guys know. Okay? It's going to increase even to just let you guys know. Be prepared. But those who move in knowing, not believing, not believing, those who move in knowing will not be harmed to what's to come. People ask me, oh, people tell me, oh, you should move out of Florida. You should move out of Florida. Uh, oh, my God, it's being flooded. I'm okay. I'm good. Whatever's meant to happen to me is going to happen. But I know I will be here for the change. I am the change. I am the change. Because I've been tired of this shit for far too fucking long. For far too long. Okay? So I'm good. I'm good. Yep. So... You are here. I feel the same. Well, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if we don't balance our food, our third eye won't won't come awake. Um, your third eye has nothing to do with food. Just to let you know. Yo, what's going on, um, Miss Mommy? Thank you. Appreciate love you for being here. Rising God as always. Um, there was someone else I wanted to. Uh, 
Then a, unique, what's going on, girl? I see you. I see you, goddess. I see you. Um, KJ3, please, peace, peace, man. Peace, peace to, all, to everybody. I live in California, and I don't feel a need to move from here. You will be okay. I'm telling y'all, you will be okay. You will be okay. Because like I've stated before, there is a separation of realities that's happening, okay? Those who are vibrating low, those who are in that negative timeline will experience negative things because that earth must be cleansed because there's a new school that's happening, a new program that's being reset. It's called the Great Reset. And the reason why they're, t they're doing all these things because they want you to come back to that Great Reset. They want you to come back to that great reset because once you get trapped in that great reset, you are trapped in that great reset until it starts all over again, then you will be part of that planet. But mitosis is happening, okay? So those who who uh, those who vibrate higher than that 3D mindset, right? Because again, you have a 3D body, but that doesn't mean you have a 3D mind, okay? Because the mind supersedes the body. You are not physical, you are metaphysical. Again, you are not physical, you are metaphysical. So if your mind supersedes the 3D function, the 3D physical reality, then when this happens, when this ship separates, you are automatically on the 4D and 5D frequency, which is separating the planet. So two daughter cells are splitting, two Earths are splitting right now. You have to decide which one you're going to go with, okay? You have to decide which one you are going to go with. The third eye is very connected to food. No, actually, the, the third eye is connected to the sun. I've already, I spoke about this all the time. The third eye is connected to the sun. The sun is synonymous to the third eye, okay? That's why they never, they'll never tell you that. In order to feed your third eye, in order to feed your third eye or to open up your third eye, you need to get sun. Some people, some people, melanated people can go out into the sunlight at all times and get the sunlight and open up their third eye. But there's other people who go and go get it at sunrise or sunset because they cannot contain that. They cannot contain that frequency, that type of energy. So you don't need no food. If that's the, if that's the case, if that's the case, um, see what people don't know is nine ether beings, my, people like me, nine ether beings were able to take that energy and convert that into chemical and, uh, and, and take that the radiation from the sun because the sun is not hot. It doesn't get it doesn't give off heat. It's radiation okay it's plasma we're able to take that energy and convert that into chemical energy okay we don't need no food we are literal plants hemoglobin and iron is the same thing just one molecule off hemoglobin and iron is the same thing the only do you see plants eating no plants don't eat they literally get the water from the soil and they get the energy of the sun they are getting fed through the energy of the sun this is the literal term of soul food this is the literal term of soul food. Either you are eating from the sun, like fruits and vegetables or whatnot, or you're literally eating of the sun. There is this, there is this melanated god called um, Elito Melanin. This dude has been a, a solar Aryan or a breath Aryan for 20 years. He hasn't ate or drank anything for over 20 years. How are you gonna tell me it is very much connected to, uh, very much connected uh, to, uh, to food? He's not the first one. He's not the first one. He is not the first one. Back in the day, this is how we used to survive. We don't need no food. Well, I don't. We've been trained to think that we were cool. That's why, they, that's why it's called the Food and Drug Administration. Food is a drug because if they control your food, if they can control your food, they can control you. That's why people are going crazy right now, right? People are going crazy because they cannot, they cannot feed themselves. They cannot feed their family. They cannot feed their child only because the food controls you, right? The food controls your stomach. Your stomach is your first mind, which is connected to your to your brain. Your stomach is your first mind. So they can control what you put in your body. They can control what they put in your mind. They can control what you do with your mind because the mind is what operates the body and vice versa. Look at that. Look at that connection. Look at that connection. What is it called? I never said we had to eat. I said food is connected. That's how the poor, that's how the poison people stirred. There's multiple ways, not just the food. You got, there's so many, y'all have no idea. Not to mention, this is, I spoke about this plenty of times. What we look like right now is not what we're supposed to look like. This body is literally, is, is death in the physical. 
right? Because again, we're supposed to be green. We're supposed to be green like plants. Because if you look at these plants now, if you look at these plants and these trees, they're supposed to be bigger. They're supposed to be huge, right? I've done a live before to prove that plants are not as big as they used to be solely because they have poisoned the environment. OK, not to mention when they created these bodies, they converted the magnesium into iron. This is why this is why we are this type of color. So we have more iron in our blood as opposed to magnesium as plants. So we're supposed to be green. Again, they depicted um, many of the um, ancient chemites uh, to be green, greenish and sla uh, green and slash green blue. OK, OK, because melanin's true color is actually green. Look at plants. Melanin's true color is actually green, not copper, not not this brown, whatever or dark, whatever you want to call it. OK. Yes, can we? And this is what's happening again. I've said this before. What was in the beginning is coming to the, what was in the beginning is coming back to the end. OK. I show we are uh, we are um, our bodies are becoming light bodies again. Our bodies are becoming light bodies again. Plenty of people with crystals in their body shining, glistening in the sun. I am one of them. You are one of them as well. Just to let you guys know, okay? If if you're not if you if you don't have diamonds in your body, you're gonna have a uh, uh, Savorsian crystals. <laughs> Either your body's having diamonds, mm, the real diamonds, or you're having some foreskin crystals. I don't know which one you're getting, but I know I'm di diamond, baby. Mm, call me diamond back. <laughs> Ladies, y'all want some foreskin crystals? <laughs> Meaning your higher self is touching base with you. Meaning your higher self is touching base with you. This is what's happening. Your higher self, which is the sun. I've told y'all the sun is the super consciousness our super conscious i'm a, um what's it called uh um that is uh comprised of one super giant being okay the sun is our consciousness our consciousness i'm gonna into one giant uh plasma gas being okay the sun is what gives it, it tells you what to do. You get your information from the sun. As soon as you see, you lay underneath the sun, you're like, God damn, I'm getting some downloads. Man, I feel great. I feel amazing underneath the sun because it's touching you. That's why you get darker underneath the sun. It's transmuting energies to you. It's telling you what to do. It's telling you what's next. It's letting you know what's coming. People have visions when they're underneath. I do. When I lay underneath the sun, I travel. I travel into destination because again, everything is mentally. You think you're really traveling when you're going when you're going from your house to the gas station, do you? Mm. You think you're traveling when you're going from your house to, to to your to your job or whatever you do. You think that's not traveling. That is slavery. That is literal slavery. To be free, you have to mentally be free. And this is why it's so worse. And this is why it's come and it must come to an end. Because literally, we're mentally enslaved. Mental slavery is way worse than physical slavery. Because your mentality is what propagates your physical reality. This what your mentality, your mental capacity is what propagates your physical reality. So mental slavery is a lot worse than physical slavery. They had to get you to agree with the mental slavery first and then for you to create the physical slavery. Uh, what's it called? Fresh customs. Um, whoever told you that is a lie. Uh, they, I'm going to tell you this. It's a lie. Okay. It is, it is a lie. Um, in fact, in fact, I'm going to let you know this. My eyesight, I didn't say, I'm not going to say I had by, uh, bad eyesight, but it was getting a little fuzzy, a little blurry back in the day. You know what I did? I was staring into the sun daily, meditating under the sun, staring into the sun. Now I have perfect vision. Perfect vision. Because why? I have melanin in my eyes. This brown is melanin, okay? Melanin comes in different colors, okay? It's melanin and it absorbs the sunlight and it can heal you from a cellular level. Cellular level. Yes, every no, not almost everything. Everything they told you is a lie. Everything. Just like when when CNN comes on, 
The only thing that they don't say is a lie is their names. Matter of fact, even their name is a lie. Just to let you guys know. As soon as they start spewing, just go. Just, just think about it. lie, 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 lie. Oh, uh, a young lady got mugged at five o'clock p.m. and two guys did it. Lie, 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 five o'clock. Lie, lie, lie. That's that's literally what it is. Lie, lie, lie. They must keep you in fear in order to keep this reality going. They must keep you in fear and this vibration low in order to keep this reality going. That's why the new the news is the worst. It has the worst number it has ever had because nobody's watching that shit no more. Y'all are coming to TikTok for the truth. People are coming to TikTok for the truth. And this is why they're trying to get away, do with it, do away with TikTok. But it's not gonna happen. See, people must learn the truth. Because this is how you dis- this is how you use discernment. This is where you get to choose. What reality you want to be a part of? This you must know the truth. Cause if you don't know the truth, you can't make up your mind. You're like, damn, okay, Juice is spinning some facts, but shit, I like listening to Tucker Carlson. That nigga got a tie on, he got a suit on, he makes he makes much more money than Juice, and he on TV. So you know he must be spinning some facts. He must be spinning some truth, right? Meanwhile, this this nigga is leading you to your to, to, to your demise. He's leading you to your demise. The people in suits are the most treacherous people of all. The most treacherous people of all. They don't give a fuck about. All they care is about, all they care about is the money. Hmm? All they care about is the money. Even though Tucker Carlson is making, he's playing control opposition. He's playing, he's he's, he's going against CNN and men and MSB, MSNBC, whatever they are called. He is controlled opposition. In the in in the in in the game, the name of the game is to keep you asleep. Because as long as they keep you asleep, they can keep making money off of you. They can keep taking your energy. They can keep sacrificing these kids. They can keep sacrificing these women. They can keep feeding you poison. They can keep making you drink poison. They can keep spraying poison up in the air. They can keep you asleep this is the great dream this is the american dream and you know why because we are fucking asleep we are dreaming this is the this is the dream world this is the dream world this is the dream world this is why you create your reality this is the dream world so it's time to wake the fuck up and decide where you want to go. Either you want to wake up or you want to keep dreaming and go with Tucker Carlson. Because <laughs> you're going to see that nigga again. You're going to see that nigga again. Either you want to wake up or you keep dreaming and see Tucker Carlson again. You know, I'm back for round 11 and up in this bitch I'm getting paid $300 million a year. Let's get it. Huh? Let me see what's on the agenda today. Lie, lie, lie at 5 o'clock. Okay. Lie at 503. Okay, all right. Tell my name, the truth, okay? Lie at 505. Okay. Lie at 507. Keep lying at 508. Keep lying at 509. This is what this is what they do. This is what they do. They can... <laughs> this is what they fucking do. <laughs> this is what these niggas do. All they do is lie. All they do is lie. <laughs> and people are falling for it. Hmm? That's all they do. But uh <laughs> all these niggas do is lie. That's all they do. Um but yeah. Yeah, all they do is lie. All they do is lie, right? Cause the word media. <clears throat> Because the word media comes from the word Medea, which is which is Medea was uh, was an uh, illusionist, right? Was an illusionist who basically let people see what it is that she wanted, then what she wanted her to see. What they I apologize, what what she wanted them to see. Okay, what she wanted them to see. So either. <laughs> 
Either you're waking up, y'all, either you're waking up to the reality, to the atrocities of what's going on, or you are you are ready for a new change. Either you're, re you're ready for a new change. Just to let you guys know. Yeah, she was a druid. You know, this is this is this is this is the same people who are putting us under the sleep spell right now, y'all. Just to let you guys know. This is the same people, man. There's there's no difference between these individuals. Just like how we just like how we reincarnate all over and you know do this shit all over again. This is the same thing that's happening to them. Okay? The only thing is they do not lose their memories. That's the only thing. They do not lose their memories as um as opposed to you. You and I lose our memories because we are filtered. We are filtered through the moon matrix where they basically fragment your mind, fragment your consciousness and separate it and send it to different realities and bring you here. So the reason why you are starting to remember yourself because those pieces of your consciousness that were fragmented in the beginning of the moon stage are coming back to you. Right. You get that. You get what I'm saying. The reason why you remember yourself because the pieces of yourself that were fragmented during the during during the during the transition to the moon and back here are coming back to you. Because that's how energy works. That's how energy works. <clears throat> yeah, they come back and hit you like Tyson. For real, for real. For real, for real. But let me see something. Hey, you know, I got, you know, before I ride out, you know, I got to show y'all some shit. I got to show y'all. I got to show y'all. You know, we gotta we gotta laugh, you know. We got we got we definitely gotta laugh. See, look, look at this. I, I talked about this right there, right? Look, look. Prosecutors decline. So look, so be money is running, money, money is done, right? This shit's over. But it says prosecutors decline to press charges in Shankilla Robinson case. Not enough evidence because this was a sacrifice. I told y'all this was a sacrifice. Her parents sacrificed her. Her parents sacrificed her. Okay? Her parents sacrificed her. I told y'all this shit. I told y'all when it first came out, I read the, I read the story. I, seen the, I saw the, uh, the, 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 uh, the symbolism um, and the colorology that was in it. The Jamat I, just, I read the Jamatria. I, I broke it down with Jamatria and it showed, and it showed everything. Everything was um, was copacetic with a uh, with a ritual. So, but yeah, let me show y'all, man. What is this? Let me yeah, let me show. You. All right, listen. So yeah, man, let's we're gonna laugh a little bit because you know I like to leave on a good note, right? I like to leave on a good note. Look, look, hold on. Did, yeah, we. I like to leave on a good note. So. Me and Flex looking in the index for buff net niggas just for some hot butt sex. Mm. <laughs> yeah. The way that nigga put his hands on you was like, yo, don't shoot. <laughs> the way he put his hands on you was like, yo, don't shoot. And you see the way that he's looking at him? What made you go with that purse? What? <laughs> Me and Flex looking in the index for buff net niggas just for some hot butt sex. Mm. <laughs> Look at what? what made you go with that purse? What? What made you go with that purse? Because <laughs> that's what these niggas, that's what they do. That's what they do. Hold on. Hold on. What is this? That, what is this? Oh, that's Haitian stuff. Um, but yeah, look, hold on. Let me, let me show y'all. Hold on. I got some more shit for y'all, boy. Oh man, this is some sick shit, boy. Y'all seen this shit, man? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. I got it. Can you hold it back for me? I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm going to tell you this, man. Liver King was literally created in a lab. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you know. This dude was literally created in the lab. Literally was created in the lab. This dude is not real. He is a hundred. First, he looks like the Geico caveman buffed up. He looks like the Geico caveman buffed up. Look, he is literally the Geico caveman buffed up. This is how you cook for a king. We start with an onion. Sub.
How about some garlic? So what do you even eat? I eat primal! Primal! We only eat primal! Light it the fuck up! Light it the shit. fuck up! Told you, you ain't going crazy, yo. Oh, fuck <laughs> Look at this shit. What are you doing? You're not a real chef! I'm Liver King Chef Lionel, and here's what's up for dinner tonight. My ranch, my food! Do I have to eat that shit? You get to eat that shit! Now this is a meal! Why eat vegetables when you can eat testicles? Wait, no, no. Eat this motherfucker! Primals! <laughs> you see this shit, y'all? Yeah, this this is this is this is another agenda out there because again, they know what's coming. Not to mention in the Netherlands, right? You see, you see how all these remember all these um these food processing stations were breaking down or no, not breaking down but you know catching on fire quote unquote catching on fire being destroyed and whatnot um now in the Netherlands there are insect companies insect processing companies hmm? because remember what's coming y'all they again if they control the food they control you. If they control the food, they control you. This is why I tell y'all, y'all need to go out there and stack and stock up on food and water. Y'all need, I've been telling y'all this shit since last, actually, I've been talking about this shit for, since 2015, before there wasn't even a TikTok and people were calling me crazy back in the day. Now, look at all this shit that I've been talking about since 2015 is coming to fruition. This shit's crazy, y'all. This shit crazy. Y'all want to call me conspiracy theorists, but I am a conspiracy realist. I've been seeing this shit, right? Because the government always tells you, they always plant seeds and let you, since 2015, I've been talking about this shit. And now this shit is literally happening. This shit is literally happening. Right. Um, because now, again, if they control the food, they control you. So this is why they're bringing all of this shit now into food and in, into 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 play, because they know what's to come. They're going to crash the economy. There's going to be no food, no electricity. And the and the point of it is, is to keep you into in, in your house and make you come out and beg for food in order to give you the whole, you know what I'm saying? What they call the mark of the beast, but to put you into these FEMA camps. And I'm going to let you listen. Stock up on food and water. Stock up on food and water. Just to let you guys know. Just to let y'all know. But hold on. You guys learn to make you guys learn to make living water too. Yep. <laughs> What's that? I'm not eating insects. We gonna you gonna learn today. You're gonna learn what insects taste like today. Let me see. Hold on. Oh yeah, I already showed y'all this. You're gonna learn what insects taste like today, boy. But look, this hey, when when the beer comes, this how I'ma be. Hey, huh? She. Hey, 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 uh, hey, double helix, uh, ascend, yeah, yeah. Fifth dimension, fifth dimension. Hey, hey, ooh, hey, tell them. That's how it'll be, boy. When that shit come, boy, I'm uh, I'm gonna be looking at y'all just like that. I mean, I'm gonna be looking at y'all just like that. Hmm? Y'all gonna be right there looking at me ascending. Hmm? That's how I'm gonna come with y'all. I'm gonna look at her just like that. I'm gonna close my eyes hmm? while I ascend. Looking at y'all, I, I remember. <laughs> Remember when I was telling y'all, y'all thought I was crazy? I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm like, I don't know, I don't know him. Just like when when what's it called? When they came up to Jesus, when when they, when uh when they when they when they went up to the lady and asked if they knew Jesus, and they're like, I don't know this man. Oh, I don't know this man. Meanwhile, they're looking at to see what's going on. <laughs> I would be closing my eyes just like that. Hmm? Just like that, going into the light. Hmm? The good light. That's what's gonna happen. Oh, hold on. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. There's another one I want to show y'all. Look, 
when the mayonnaise bad, this is what happens when the mayonnaise expires. Look at this shit. When the mayonnaise expires, this is what. What the fuck is? Throw that mayonnaise away, y'all. This. <laughs> Yo, my boy was fed up with it, boy. What the? <laughs> Yo, that shit is spoiled. Okay, that shit is spoiled. As a matter of fact, let me start doing that because TikTok gonna see that shit as hatred and all that bullshit. I don't wanna. I don't, fuck TikTok, man. TikTok. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna show y'all. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. What she was feeling is those tight pants on her. That's what she was feeling. That the music was not feeling her. The music was definitely not feeling her. Hold on. Let me see. Danny, I got another document for you to take a bunch of measures that the oh, government. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, y'all. There was one more. There was one more video that I had. Huh? There was one more video that I had. Is this it? it no, nah, that's not it. Hmm. All right. <laughs> think, hold on. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it, y'all. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Is this it? All right, y'all. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, y'all. That's that's it for the evening, man. That's it for the evening. I'm gonna upload these lives. I'm gonna upload this on my on my on my on my uh, on my YouTube. I'm gonna up this. I'm gonna upload this on my YouTube for part one and part two because TikTok is straight up fucking assholes. Straight up hate me. But. That being said, y'all, this is, again, this is a beautiful time to be alive. Great time to be alive. Great moment. Show it again before you go. Show what again? Oh, you know what I mean? Hey, you know what I mean? I know what you're talking about. I know what you want me to show. I know what you want me to show. I know what y'all want me to show. Oh, hold on. Check this out. Watch this video right quick. I want to show y'all this right quick. Hold on. Hold on. Let me show y'all this right quick. It's coming, folks. It absolutely is coming. And they're just, they're not going to say anything until they absolutely have to. And there is a lot of equipment being moved into our solar system uh, to join what's already here. Now, at last count, there were at least 60 motherships here. I know that in the rings of Saturn and in the asteroid belt. Or the so I'm going to let you, what's it called? Um, I showed this last year, right? Because this was supposed to happen already. Us ascending was supposed to happen already. But what they did was the ancestors, the Elohim, they they specifically placed ships around the sun, around the planet, because the sun had already emitted large amounts of CMEs because this is what happened to Alpha Centauri. I talked about Alpha Centauri um, experiencing huge CMEs, and this caused the planet to go, the, this caused the planet to have like a, What's it called? Uh, uh, I believe an eight second um, solar flare throughout the whole planet, throughout the whole planet was hit with this huge amount of solar flare, which eight seconds is a long time. OK, you, because when you're on the planet, um, uh, a time to the sun to a planet is very different. Just to let you guys know. So eight seconds on a planet is a very, very long time to experience all these things. Now, we don't know what happened, but we can. Uh, speculate that this basically brought him up to higher vibrational energy because because you know who's next to Alpha Centauri, we are, 
We are next to Alpha Centauri. So we are next in line. Our solar system is next in line to receive his energy because it's a domino effect. It is a, do it is a domino effect. But uh, um, Alex Collier, yeah, this is Alex, uh, Alex Collier talking about this. Now, I'm going to let you guys know. Again, they can't say, they can't, they can't come here and disclose everything until they really have to. And this is going to be a melanated person who's going to come out here and tell us what has been going on. Because this has been all about us getting the fuck out of this game. Let's continue this. The bracelet, as the Sumerians used to call it. There was old mining equipment and other very large craft that were left there. Now, this isn't junk. These things actually still work after tens of thousands of years. Okay, um, They don't build planned obsolescence. These things work unless they're damaged or they're destroyed. That equipment also has been moved closer into Earth. However, it is in the infrared spectrum where we can't see it with our visible eye. You see? So now, now what? This is 2015. This is 2015. So I just, I sh hold on. Did I, did I show y'all this? I did show y'all this, um, but look, let me see, let me see. So, look. So now, 2015, 2015, you wouldn't, you was able to see this. Are the only thing that they're using to hide Planet X and to cover it up. They're now also starting to use falling trees. So apparently, clouds aren't the only thing that they're using to hide Planet X and to cover it up. They're now also starting to use falling trees. This video took over social media today. See. Two trees fill Look. up the Masters Golf Tournament, forcing play to stop for the rest of the day. So you're telling me that a giant Look at UFO... You see? So now, you see this, right? This is this is this is planet. Uh, what's it called? Uh, this is uh, uh, the Blue Kachina. This is the Blue Kachina that you can. See. No, I, I'm not. The, I, I apologize. This is Nibiru. All right. This is Nibiru. Actually, a giant planet was captured, was recorded you on see? camera, live at this Masters Golf Tournament. And the only thing that has been recorded and remembered in regards to this golf tournament was a couple of fallen trees. Are you kidding me? So. You. This is what they do. They cause distraction in order to fall to take take people's mind off of that. Okay. Not to mention, a lot of people could not see into that frequency. Okay. Majority of those people that was you telling me that what's it called that the 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 guy who hit that golf ball wasn't able to see that. No, he wasn't able to see that because he's not part of that frequency. Okay. Only a certain amount of people. Again, that's why having camera phones camera is very important because. You can sense something being there, okay? Again, people with melanin, what they so-called black people, we absorb all frequencies of light, every single frequency of light. This is what our melanin allows us to do, okay? Um, so you can sense things being there, but because our eyes are adjusting to the new frequency, you're not able to tap in fully in this. Some people can, but some people can't. But you can sense something being there, kind of like how you can sense when someone's about to text you or you, you know, uh, when you and that person are saying the same thing or uh, what's it called? Uh, when you're thinking of someone and someone calls you and whatnot, you can sense this. You know, this is a form of clear sentience. OK, so um, you can sense things and you can pick up your phone and start recording and you can see things in the atmosphere that your eye, which did, that your two physical eyes cannot catch because we're not supposed to see with these two physical eyes. We're supposed to be seeing with this eye in the middle of, of your hemispheres of your brain, which is again synonymous to the sun, the synonymous to the sun. This is the central sun of your universe. Your pineal gland is the center sun of your universe, okay? You got the left universe and the right, and the, 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 the left part of the universe and the right part of the universe, masculine and feminine, okay? So again, the poles are flipping. This is why the sub, I, I noticed this today. I was like, hold on. I noticed this today. I noticed this shit today. I was like, I was like, why is, I've never seen, I've never seen what's it called the subway logo 
like this. This was this is new. Subway was never it was never like this. But this is literally showing you the poles are reversed. The poles are reversing. Everything is flipping. This is what's happening. OK, they always got to tell you the truth. They always got to put the truth out there for you to remind you of what's going on, to remind you of what's going on. So, yeah. Um, hold on. Let's let's finish this shit with Alice Collier and then we'll call it an evening, y'all. But yeah. Belongs. And the whole idea of this equipment being moved in is to mitigate the gravitational field and pull of this very large planetary body coming in. As it comes around the sun, it's going to come up in over on top of us. The idea is to create a shield above us. You hear that? To reflect this incredible gravitational field. Now, that doesn't mean we're not going to experience movement. And my understanding is that we will. Um, to what degree, I have not been told. Uh, to what degree we would experience movement or earthquakes. Um, I also want to share with you that in the Andromedan perspective, there's a lot of talk today amongst everybody on the planet about um, Yosemite. No, no, I'm sorry, not you, somebody, Yellowstone, that it's a super volcano that it's going to blow. I have been told emphatically it wouldn't blow. That basically what's going to happen is the super, the inner earth super volcano that is feeding Yellowstone is underneath Calexico, California, in Mexico. That's where it is. And through lava tributaries, it makes its way through Nevada, Arizona, Utah, to Yellowstone. Well, as things start to go and it builds up, what it's supposed to do, and they have seen this, it is supposed to blow the back out of the San Andreas Fault. And that will immediately relieve the pressure and Yellowstone will not go. Okay? I have heard absolutely no change uh, to that, that scenario or plan whatsoever. So, yeah. Um, someone asked, why would Subway... Why would Subway be telling us this? What you don't know is everything in your life is, is symbolism. Kind of like, because everything in life is music, okay? You are a music. You are a musical note that's playing to the tune of the universe. You are a musical note playing to the tune of the universe. And a symbol is what? A symbol is, is using an orchestra, isn't it, right? A sim just It's called symbolism because it comes from the word symbols, right? You hear that crash, it's like, it gets your attention. That's the same way with symbolism. Because if you know how symbolism work, you can read symbolism and it means something to you. Kind of like when I see, when I saw the blue and red, when I saw the Pepsi sign, when I saw the Pepsi logo, and I'm like, blue and red and white. I mean, in, I've always had an affinity to that Pepsi logo and I had no idea why. But now I understand and I know why. I know what it is, right? Is the masculine and feminine energies coming together. The red and blue sun coming together with that white sun in order to change our DNA, to cause us to ascend back to where we come from. Everything is symbolism. Your name is symbolism. Your name means something. If you know how to break down words, that's why you got to learn etymology. Okay? Learn etymology. Once you learn how to do this, you can break down things from a higher level because everything comes from the higher level into the physical. When it's in the physical, if they give it to you in the physical, just understand and know that they've been it's been broken down and dumbed down and you have to get back up to the root of it, where it came from, where it came from. Kind of like you, you're at the lowest point right now. You are at the physical point right now, but now you are climbing. We are climbing back into our higher self. Our higher consciousness, our metaphys our metaph our metaphysical self. Same thing. As above, so below. Everything is connected in that way. Everything is connected that way. So that's why Subway is telling me that. That's why. Okay? That's why it's telling me that. If you didn't understand, I hope you understand now. Okay? But um, yeah. So, so called to the girl. Whoever said that, this time I'm gonna be looking at you. This time I'm gonna be looking at you. Hey, woo! Boosie is juicy juice. <laughs> My eyes gonna be closed while I'm looking at you staying here, huh? You're gonna be on the upper. Is it? You're gonna be on the opposite side of that subway logo, hmm? You're gonna be. You're gonna be. <laughs> 
You're going to be on the opposite side of that subway look. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm going to be like, hey, hey, it's juicy juice. Ooh, ooh. Hey, huh, huh. hey, hey, uh, 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 it's juicy juice. Ooh. <laughs> ooh, let's get it. Um, to the woman that said, don't get too cocky. It's my show. I didn't, you don't have to be here. You don't have to be here. I'm not cocky. I just know who I am. There's a difference. There's a difference. I just know who I am. I just know who I am. That's it. There is a huge difference. I just hope you know who you are. I just know. I just hope you know who you are. That's it. Okay, I just hope you know who you are. Yo, uh, Throne Day. I think I. I don't know if you uh, if you if you uh, uh, posted that, but thank you. I'm uh, I'm gonna look it up. I don't trust Nikola Tesla because Nikola Tesla was a Freemason as well. But um, yeah. So I don't trust. I don't trust none of that shit. I don't trust none of that shit. What is? Video, what is video name? What video? Um, where the video of you exposed Rashad Jamal? You don't follow me on YouTube? That shit's been on YouTube, bro. That's that that's that's been on YouTube. Fresh Custom. It's on my YouTube channel. Go check out my YouTube channel. It's on there. Now, for I'm a, I'm a, let me reiterate, okay? I'm only I would I only expose Rashad Jamal for being a Freemason agent. That's it. I have no animosity, no hatred. That is my brother. That is my brother. I have no animosity, no hatred, no feud, nothing against Rashad Jamal. I only expose him for being a free, free Mason, a uh, free Mason agent, and for exploiting people for monetary gains. That's the only thing I exploit Rashad Jamal for. Okay, I'm not not. I'm not against his message. I've heard some of his lives. He brings he brings forth great information. He brings forth great information that is necessary for our people. Okay, that's the only thing. I'm not advocating. I'm not advocating. I'm not saying. I'm not advocating for him or none that in that sense. Okay, he brings great information. That's the only thing. But I'm only exposing him for exploiting people and then for lying. Okay, for lying. Talking about people. Uh, uh, say that he's uh, he's got followers that are killing people. Meaning, uh, meanwhile, the same individual who who claimed to kill his mother was in the was in his music video. So. I expose all that, and I also show that Rashad Jamal is not really Rashad Jamal. He is a double agent um, that goes by the rapper called AZ. Okay, that's not Rashad Jamal. That's not his real name. Just to let you know. Um, but yes. Um, but I do too love. I ain't, you know. I know. <laughs> It's all good. It's all good. No, listen, I, don't, I have no animosity, no hatred towards me whatsoever. The reason why is I come from love. I come from love. I am love. I lost the aspect of that love when I was young, right, into this world because a lot of people don't know that real that love that they're looking for is within themselves. But people, most people go outside of themselves to look for that love when that love was never coming for you in the first place. When that love was never given to you in the first place. So you're chasing something that never wanted you in the first place, that never loved you. Okay? Meanwhile, uh, all on the planet that never cared. N not mean meanwhile in a world that never showed you love. Not the planet. Not the planet, but the world that never showed you love. Because on this planet, there is a world of illusion that's being propagated, okay? The planet and the world is different. They are Their, their world is encapsulated in our planet, and it's time to get the fuck out of this place. Just to let y'all go, just to let you know. But uh, that being said, I appreciate love all y'all for coming through, as always. You know, thank y'all for tuning into my frequency. You only tune into my frequency because you resonate with the information that I have. I'm gonna post these loves. I'm gonna post these lives on my on my TikTok, on my Instagram. Part one. If y'all if y'all don't miss part one, it's going to be on my it's going to be on my YouTube because they shut me down. But uh, I appreciate love y'all. Um, A Z was a favorite rapper of mine. That's what's up. Now you can see that he's Rashad Jamal. So yeah. Uh, oh, what's up? Peace, Jamaica. Peace in y'all. Peace, family. Peace, peace. Um, 
But yeah, um, y'all, this this time that we are in is pertinent. The most important thing that you need to be doing right now is working on yourself. That is the most important and that is the most important thing. Remember, you are children of the sun. You need to be getting in contact with the sun. You need to get in direct with the sun because what's happening is the sun is giving you the codes that you need right now in order to know what to do, in order not to be phased by these entities that are coming in. Because let me let me I'm gonna tell you this: there's going to be some weird shit happening on the planet very, very soon. There's going to be this. It's happening right now. You can see people losing their minds. They're, and the only reason why is you're not able to see and perceive these entities yet. But just know these, these are entities that are taking over these individuals. So the most important thing that you need to do is get into that light. Get that vibration, that frequency up so you won't be touched by this. You will experience, you won't, you will see this. You will be witness of this, but you won't experience it. Okay? You won't experience it. All right? That being said, y'all, thank y'all for tuning to my frequency once again. You only tune into my frequency because you resonate with the information. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. Remember who you are. Rest well. Say travels in the astral. And let's get it. Peace.